Hi traders, here's a new video. First of all, the risk warning. Your invested capital might be at risk. Don't trade with money you cannot afford to lose. And this video is not an investment advice. So this will be really a mind blowing video. Yes, because today I'm going to show you how to predict based on running candlesticks, the direction of the next candlestick. And uh, that is a really high requested video. Yes, and uh, I had to wait so that I got uh, other things explained before, yes, but today I'm going to show you how to predict the, uh, yes, uh, uh, the next candlestick based on the running candlestick. But the most important is that it's not that we predict it based on the running candlestick. The prediction is already done before, but the running candlestick can give us the confirmation, yes, the confirmation that what most of the traders are not doing, yes, and this confirmation will look like this, like how I will explain this in the video. So, I will not do so much talk at the beginning, yes, last week we are going to talk about that, what I have predicted last week for the, uh, for the, uh, for the prediction, yes, here, what will happen, I thought that I would do a put option if I would get a rejection from the one deviation upper and from the middle Bollinger Band, yes, and you see what happened, it got uh, where the, where a gap up, yes, and after this gap up, this kind of window, yes, there was no uh, trade for me, yes, that is why I'm telling always that you have to use filters, yes, you have to set on each and every trade what you are going to do, your filters, that means, if this will not happen, what you have in mind, because you need a key level from where the price will reject or from where the price will, uh, yes, re reverse or retrace, then you do not trade. I took this kind of levels here as my confirmation to do a put trade. This didn't happen because we got a gap up and that was the reason why uh, it has already uh, annulled. Yes, and that was a trade which I didn't have done. Yes, it's also sometimes not bad that you, a trade doesn't work. Yes, that you don't do this trade. Because I tell you something, it's better always not to trade than doing a, miss, a losing trade. Yes, uh, because when you do a losing trade, you do lose money. When you do not trade, you do not lose money. So it's always a better decision to sit on your hands. I have explained this already so often in the last trading psychology videos when you want to watch this kind of trading psychology videos you can find the playlist in the, the uh, not in the description uh, the playlist is called trading psychology yes to, to watch them yes because they are really um, uh, really important they are really important because they will give you an insight about what you are going through. So, let me see where we are going to start immediately. So, I will give away uh, this week the bot price money, the one, uh, the, not the $100. I will give away only again the $10. I will give away the $100 the next weeks. Yes, maybe the next weeks, maybe in the two weeks, maybe in three weeks. I, I cannot tell you this to you yet. But we are getting closer and closer to this date where I will give away the $100 and after this I will give away three times uh, I think I will give away three times 100 so incomplete 300 so in this video then after the 100 yes I cannot tell you this also in, uh, uh, directly which kind of video because there are so many who are trying to cheat and doing multiple comments yes I don't want this so in this case please uh, yes watch it and uh, take your chance to get the bot price money but I cannot tell you when I will do this uh, but I will give away always $10 for those one who are commenting anyway so Okay, so what we are going to do, you know, I have no script and I would say we will do this uh, today in a different way. Yes, and today we are going first to do the analysis here. So it will be again a complicated stuff here. Yes, this will be complicated again. Why it is complicated? Because that is the beginning of a trend. I have to say... I have to say that we have here at the end of the uh, New York session, yes, um, um, Friday New York session, we have here low volume market, yes. These candles here always are candlesticks which are not telling you anything, yes. The only thing what I can predict for the next week will be, next week Monday will be, and I will do this li like this, yes. I will do this like this, that I draw the trend line here. Yes, I will draw the trend line here. And you see, we see a trend line here too, yes. And the next candlestick, and the next candlestick will be, in my opinion, yes, in my opinion, the next candlestick will be a bullish one. 
Yes, it will be a bullish one because this bearish candle was not able to break through this level. Also, if this candle is not telling you anything, I would not put so much money on this trade. Yes, because at the end it's a little bit risky. Yes, because it's this candlestick is something like an inside bar um, and uh, it doesn't broke this level. Yes, because this candlestick didn't broke this level. Yes, I'm. Uh, I'm not expecting here a fake breakout of the 200 EMA. I would expect that the price would continue to going up further. Yes, uh, because we have here also a golden cross. Yes, and we can we, get, we are getting out of the we are getting now out of the um, the Bollinger squeeze. Yes, we're going now into the Bollinger breakout. Here we had uh, the tentative which looked a little bit like a, um, yes, a tentative of a fake breakout but this candlestick here didn't unfold and because this candlestick here didn't unfold I'm expecting that the next candle will be a bullish one yes, and I would, or, or, or I would do a call option um, to, be tell, to tell you this better, better I would do a call option on the rejection from the 200 EMA or the one deviation Bollinger Band. Both of them would be okay. Yes, uh, you see how I take always the key levels as in consideration to do my trades. Yes, if I do not have a key level where the price could reject, I don't do this because I know that when you are in no man's land and no man's land is everything between the key levels, then it's better to avoid the trade because you will get mostly hit by the retracement in the last 30 seconds of the retracement, yes, of the expiration time. Then the Will coming up a retracement and I will show you this today when I talk about how to predict based on running candlesticks the direction of the next candlestick yes the how, how it works yes and uh, why I'm so uh, yes why I'm uh, 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 why I'm uh, how it's called this why I'm so stressing about this yes because I'm seeing this on my what mentorship program students yes that they do not care about this that they have another 30 seconds yes where uh, everything else can happen um, apart from that what happens before yes and uh, that is what I try to explain you in this kind of video okay so uh, I told you this yes the next candle will be uh, or the next trade would be a call option from the, the 200 EMA or from the from the uh, from the one deviation upper Bollinger band or also this kind of level here this is also okay yes because at the end this is also a support and resistance level so you know this is a three one two three four candle four, four five candles five candles five minute support and resistance level so when I get a rejection from this level two I would use this level two okay so that was this one the prediction for the next week uh, Monday uh, start and now we are going to announce immediately the bot price money winner yes immediately because I don't want to lose time but before I gonna do this I have to talk about a few things and that is first of all the bot price action guide you find the link in the description the bot price action guide contains only the illustrations only illustrations of those kind of concepts of the bot uh, bot concepts yes you see here illustrations of the patterns all this kind of stuff yes only illustrations the continuation patterns the reversal patterns the uh, no rejection trading setups and all this kind of stuff uh, the concepts no only illustrations yes and then we have here the bot price action bible the bot price action bible contains the illustrations and detailed explanations yes really uh, hardcore explanations that's really deep ones with criteria pattern psychology support and resistance entry point how to trade and how not to trade yes everything explained in detail the bot price action bible is that what will make you already money so many are thanking me so many are sending me emails yes about thank you how good the book is yes how how they are making money you could uh, it is all, all it's, it's already enough that you take one of those kind of patterns Yes, which I have explained in the Bible, only one. Yes, and when you are able to master it based on that what is written here, then you will make money. Yes, most of you are, I will show you this later in the trial psychology part, they are too lazy to do this. Yes, and they are too lazy to wait for them and they are too lazy to, uh, to apply this kind of stuff over and over again on one or two concepts. Yes, uh, and to make them their own. Yes, and that is the problem why so many are struggling. Yes, they want to trade each and every candlestick. Yes, they want to trade 
stupid like me, yes, or some other guys, uh, and uh, they do not understand that this means that you have to practice a lot, that you have to do this a lot, that you have, uh, uh, that it, it will never end, that you have to do this over and over again, yes, because there are always, always still for me some kind of things which are not so easy to handle, yes, uh, uh, and uh, I'm still doing this, yes, so in this case, uh, don't think alone that when you are buying the Bible that you can do this immediately, but in general, when you would study the stuff which is explained in the Bot Price Action Bible, you will make money because I get every week, get, I get so many emails from uh, traders who are getting the Bible and they are studying it and they are applying this stuff and they are making money. Yes, so many. Yes, and it's only uh, a question about how dedication, how much dedication you give into it. Yes, here in this Bible is explained everything. Get this Bible, you find the link in the description. Yes, uh, it contains the illustration and the explanation. And the explanations are the really important thing. Yes, because not even in the the videos you get this kind of explanation so in detail while well, I have brought this really point on point on point so that you get uh, you can switch the pages yes and so many are doing sending me emails yes Benjamin why this trade didn't work out yes uh, and then I look uh, at the trade and I see that exactly this trade it's like like I have explained in the Bible yes was exactly the same and he is trading it completely then I tell him that he has to look in the Bible and then I get the answer from him that he tells yes I didn't saw this so please study the Bible before you are going to contacting me yes uh, with those kind of things because I get a little bit upset yes when I see that you are doing the trades um, uh, and uh, in the Bible is exactly explained the trade how you have to handle Yes, that is uh, really what makes me uh, really upset because you know my my time is precious. Yes, and I'm getting really 200 is really less. Yes, I get more than 200 emails every day. Yes, so many emails, people who are asking me uh, for money, people who are uh, asking me for help, all this kind of stuff. I'm answering everybody. Yes, but please, you have to understand that my time is really limited, and I try to do this, but uh, it's getting more and more and more and more and more. Yes, and so it can. can take also time yes not only what to regarding of uh, the uh, emails also when we are talking about commenting and uh, answering of comments in the YouTube channel and also when we are talking about uh, answering on social media in general yes because I do not have the time to hang around all the time on social media I told you this already before stay away from social media stay away from uh, from uh, your cell phone, yes, because at the end that are things which will only distract you, yes, because when you are chatting uh, an hour, you could have invested this hour instead in uh, doing some kind of practice trades or whatever, yes, or studying or watching some videos or something like this, yes, instead of chatting and uh, and uh, and trying to distract you from the things which are important. I will go to this later a little bit more in detail. So again, bought price action Bible, you find the link in the description, all this kind of stuff which you need trading setups concepts are explained in the Bible then we have the video pack 1 for the beginner video pack 2 for the medium ones video pack 3 for the advanced ones and video pack 4 for the nearly pro the video packs in conjunction with the bot price action Bible that will make you money for sure if you study them if you get the stuff which I'm explaining in the video packs in your brain, you will make money for sure. The thing is, you will may maybe not be consistently, yes, because you will become greedy, yes, your, uh, your greed will co take control over you, you will uh, do over trading, yes, you will uh, still be addicted, yes, uh, to trading in general, yes, um, you are doing maybe uh, uh, impulse trading and all this kind of stuff, yes, all this kind of emotional effects, maybe you do not know how to apply this stuff, yes, maybe you are not, uh, you have not enough willpower to set, set you up your own rules, yes, and uh, to control yourself, maybe you need someone who, uh, somebody who leads you, yes, and for those one who need somebody who leads you, and I would say everybody who is already watching my videos and is uh, my subscriber for more than one year and who is not consistently profitable should 
um, yes, should considerate to get into the bot mentorship program because at the end, when you are one one year already watching my YouTube videos, uh, um, reading my ebooks, uh, and on and so on, and uh, watching uh, also the video pack videos, and you are not consistently profitable, then I have to say, then you need no most probably somebody who will gonna lead you. Yes, because uh, after one year, uh, it should be the time that you have uh, uh, you could apply all this kind of stuff which I'm explaining here in my videos over and over again and uh, it should be working yes because uh, you have to also to consider yes that uh, uh, I when I have done this yes I took uh, for me it took more than one year it took maybe I would say two two and a half three years yes um, in the first one and, a half, one and a half years it was only drifting around and trying to find the holy grail based on any kind of stupid strategies but after I have discovered yes that there is price action yes uh, the, the learning curve was going really like a rocket yes uh, because at the end uh, price action was exactly that what uh, uh, was clear for me that this will be the real answer yes to all my problems with trading yes because of the indicators and all this kind of stuff so and uh, yes for those one who want to still join the join the bot mentorship program you have to hurry up again yes because I told this already so often but I will do this soon yes I I will try to cover all this kind of students which I have uh, still in the program and then I will close the doors for the bot mentorship room and then I will give it away to my bot mentors yes I'm already working on this project yes uh, how I will do this so if you want to join the bot mentorship program you have to join as soon as possible for this you have to go through the application process you cannot buy the bot mentorship program um, yes, directly. You have to go through the application process. That is my guarantee and that is your guarantee that I will able to educate you, yes, uh, uh, and those kind of tests. So when you start the bot mentorship program application process, go through it, yes, uh, because at the end, uh, don't be lazy, yes, I will show you this later again, don't be lazy because at the end you will be rejected, yes, I don't want students which are lazy, You or you want to become uh, a professional trader, a consistently profitable full-time or part-time trader, or you don't want it, please decide it before you're going to contact me. Okay, so I would say that was it. I don't want to talk uh, too much about this because we are um, wasting time because I'm telling this in each and every video. Yes, but I don't know. I get this kind of questions over and over again. And I have to say after I have done the video yet la last week and I have named it only a few a few seconds, uh, only a few sentences about this. Yes, I have to say that the questions about uh, what is the difference between, between the pro about price action guide and the Bible and uh, where can I find the Bible? All this kind of question uh, get raised up again, yes, and I got so many again questions about this. Okay, so to join the bot mentorship program, um, you have to apply for it. For the application process, that means you send me an empty email to my email address, botovertrader.gmail.com. Uh, for the video packs, you find the link in the description. Yes, for the bot price action Bible, you find the link in the description. Yes, and for the power price action guide, you find this also. Those one who get the bot price action Bible, they do not need the bot price action guide because the illustrations from the bot price action Bible guide are in the bot price action Bible. So you don't need both. Yes, please, you don't need both. Yes, because I see always people who are buying both. Yes, and I'm uh, I'm feeling bad when I when they're buying both. Yes, because at the end you don't need both. Yes, I ha I don't know how often I have to say this. Yes, um, uh, it's also like this that uh, so many are telling me yes, uh, you are trying only to sell your products. Yes, but it's not like this. Yes, it's uh, like this that I know that the products which I'm here giving away and I'm selling that are really good stuff. Yes, you will change your trading style dramatically based on the bot price action Bible and dramatically when you are watching the bot mentorship program self-study modules video pack one to four yes because this kind of explanations in this kind of video packs yes are the conjunction based on the uh, yes on the training setup and the concepts explained in the ebook yes in the bot price action Bible and this kind of trades which are doing my students uh, and uh, I tell you something they are doing good trades and they're doing bad trades and based on those kind of trades I, I have explained exactly 
with my core knowledge, which I have gained in, in years of experience, how to handle this kind of trades properly. And so many are making money only because of this. Yes, uh, they were drifting around all the time, but at the end, they found my YouTube channel. Yes, they got the bot price action Bible, they got the video packs. Yes, and then they will make money. Yes, and uh, so many uh, are also making money without the bot mentorship program. So, for those one, but I tell you something if you are already more than one year struggling to start your uh, or to become a consistently profitable trader then it's the time to seek advice from a mentor yes from a coach because uh, uh, one year with price action handling and all this kind of stuff is a signal yes that is a signal that you have to um, do something to change something i have explained this also in the trading psychology part okay so that was this one i don't want to talk too much about this uh, stuff more then there is another thing that is for the investment recovery i'm still offering this investment recovery send me an um, empty email with the topic uh, with the subject investment recovery to get your money recovered from uh, IPO option when there is uh, yes when there were some kind of fishy um, yes uh, money loses and then the second one is yes uh, to uh, yes to if you have any kind of suggestion of any kind of video send me an um, uh, email with suggestion with the topic which you would like to um, to have handled yes it's the same stuff like you know the video about the running candle that is one of the most requested videos uh, from all the suggestions which i got so use it use the power you have yes to send me this kind of suggestions yes and uh, yes and that the next one for the bot indicator yes i'm working still on the indicator i don't want that to, i want to start any kind of discussions uh, uh, about the sands why uh, I'm doing this kind of indicator? I don't want to uh, talk about what will happen with binary eruption or forex when the bot indicator will be released. That are all the things which I don't want to talk about because at the moment the thing is not released. It's still a hard start. It's already promising what the results are giving. Yes, but it's still a long way to make it happen. Yes, and I don't want to face in the future. I'm facing the now, and I'm told, told this already so often. There are things which has to be done you do this yes and then you will see what the future will generate out of it yes because i can think about a lot of things yes what will happen 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 but i'm in the now and i try to handle the now yes and that is also what you as trader should do you as trader you don't have to look at the future what would be what would be no you have to handle the now and changing everything in the now to make it happen that the future will change too because with this what happens in the future yes you are uh, you are now yes uh, so only with thinking what will happen in the future they will not change anything the only thing what will change in the future will change when you do now something when you are now doing something and that is what i'm doing with the bot indicator yes the price action indicator uh, which will really a uh, game changer uh, if you are interested in this, yes, send me an email with the subject uh, bot indicator. Um, at the moment, it's still in the in the elaboration development phase. Yes, but um, most probably I will uh, um, do the beta test and alpha test. And uh, yes, if you want to make part of this, uh, so let me know this. Uh, it's an amazing project. Is I uh, I'm seeing that there is a lot of. Uh, work to do still to do yes it's giving good results yes but there are still some kind of things you you should know this market conditions which has to be handled and uh, that is uh, which i try because i will stand behind this indicator if it will uh, pass through my quality management yes because for me it's important that i um, um i put uh, everything into it yes and that uh, at the end it has a good result and if it will not be Yes, not be like this what I want, then there will be never be any kind of indicator. Yes, uh, I try my best because when I was starting, there were so many indicators and I have lost also some money of some indicators. Yes, and uh, uh, in this case, uh, and I was searching for the holy grail and I was my dream. And that is what uh, why I'm doing this. Yes, because so many do not understand this because at the end, who's, who needs an indicator when you know how to trade? No, I'm doing this because it's some kind of 
how I can say, mission for me. Also, this one of my other missions which I dreamed always about. That's when I was doing this. I want, was searching for the Holy Grail. And uh, when I was searching for the Holy Grail, I thought, to, uh, I thought to myself, there should be one kind of indicator. Yes, which is able to um, yes to get handle this to have a good accuracy. Yes, there should be, and that was the motivation to test one thousand of indicators. I have tested every every indicator which would exist. Yes, and I have uh, uh, um, tested and uh, used each and every combination of all the indicators. Yes, to get signals, and that is what this is, and that is a dream. Yes, my dream is to create this kind of price action indicator which is based only on price action which is the complete different from all other indicators yes, or signal signal stuff yes my stuff is only based on price action and that is the difference between this indicator the bot price action indicator and all the other ones yes because um, I got already some kind of uh, tentatives where somebody told me yes you have to use this or this indicator as confirmation no Yes, everything in this indicator will be based on price action. Yes, and on filters which uh, will be implemented. Yes, and uh, yes, yesterday I I uh, I run this for a half an hour. Yes, and it has done immediately one after another for in the money in the half an hour. That was really nice. Um, but still, I know that this is uh, not the the conclusion yes because i know that the indicator sometimes it works pretty well yes and sometimes it works not pretty well and so i have to eliminate with my coding team and my partner yes uh, to get this done that this will be a reliable stuff yes because if this is not reliable it will be never released yes only to let you know this yes because uh, i stand behind this what i'm doing and when i cannot stand behind this uh, it will not be released okay so that uh, only for those one because I get so many uh, questions about and so many texts uh, where I have to justify uh, what happens and what will happen with the industry and so on and so on to so be please I have not the time to uh, to handle this now yes because at the end I don't care about this first of all this thing has to hand has to release to release this thing has to be uh, reliable yes and then we can st t still talk about this because at the end if I'm not doing this maybe some other guy will do this yes uh, and in this case yes uh, um, uh, that is not the question because at the end if you would not do this because uh, of some kind of stuff because at the end it's uh, ethical too yes because uh, if you help so many people who are struggling uh, with trading in general yes and uh, so in this case it's a good thing okay so that was this one only to clarify again i will do this really fast what price action bible you find the link in the description it contains illustration and explanations yes the biopacks you find the link in the description and the bot price uh, bot mentorship program you have to apply to it you have to go through the steps yes but send me an empty email to my email address botobotrader at gmail.com so now we are going immediately to the next one and that is the bot price money winner yes today i give away again the ten dollar if you want the bot price money send a uh, comment below this video yes then you will be participate i will give away the 100 dollar one of the next weeks yes and uh and after this i will give away the 300 dollars yes um maybe i will do give away three times 100 dollar that is maybe uh, much better yes because i don't want that only one get uh, so much yes because um uh, i think there should be maybe more who uh, benefit from it okay so let me see who is the winner today from the bot price money yes because i try to do this as fast as possible today so let me see what we have here um how much how many we have 244 yes 244 so let me see 244 who is the winner today 244 and the winner today is 174 congratulations you are the winner Woo yes let's see let's see who it is so let me see who it is that is here i have to do 200 then i have to go up i have to go up and i will do this fast because i have to discuss a lot of things today yes also the trading psychology stuff is really important to understand in what of kind of this kind four stages you are Yes, really important. Yes, uh, so that you uh, uh, know what kind of way you have still in front of you. So the winner of the bot prize money is the 174, and this is 
74 and it's Capila e La Santa. Capila La Santa, you are the winner. Uh, congratulations, great videos, sir. Thank you very much. Yes, you are the winner. Let me see if I'm correct. 174. Yes, this is 174. I will contact you. Congratulations. Yes, really nice. Good. So, okay. That was this one. And now we are going to jump into the first topic. And the first topic will be... The first topic will be the, uh, the trading psychology stuff. And that will be this. So let me see. Yes, I have to do this uh, today a little bit fast. So that is here. How to become a consistently profitable trader with the four stages of complication and simplification. That is where every trader goes through. Every trader and also me goes through this kind of four stages of complication and uh, simplification. And I tell you now exactly where and how you can recognize yourself and what you have to change. Yes, to get into the last one, and that is the efficient simplicity. Yes, that is when the people are saying um, trading should be uh, simple as possible. Yes, don't overcomplicate the stuff. Yes, but there are obviously some kind of complications. Yes, because when you do not know, yes, uh, what is important, then you will most probably simple uh, everything a little bit compli uh, wrong. So, okay, let me see well, how we're going to start. We start here. It's my, uh, for, uh, outside, it's bad weather today and my dog is uh, moving around. So, okay, confused complications. That is the first stage. That is most probably and mostly the beginning. Yes, the beginning is the confused, confused complication. I have explained this here. Yes, that is this stage. Let me show you this. That is this stage here. Yes, here, look. This one here where you are here, not, you know nothing. Ignorance, boon, low competence. Yes, that is this one. I have to say, this is what I'm going to do also at the moment here, uh, which I have explained in the training psychology stuff with the indicator. Yes, we have here some kind of concepts. We are, uh, we have a goal. Yes, our indicator should be really reliable. So then we have here some kind of, uh, yes, plan what we have to do. Yes, to get this indicator here at this po point. That is the future, a dream with a plan and with a deadline. Yes, and if this will not met, this kind of goal will be never released. So easy. Yes, that is this one. So then we have the strategy and then we do massive action. So, and then we check it. Yes, and if it's not like this, which we want to want this, yes, then we change it and then we are doing. And that is the way, yes, uh, how we make this indicator become true. Yes, and obviously you have to have here uh, the right beliefs, you have to have the right ideas, and you have obviously the values, yes, because uh, else this kind of indicator will never become true, uh, yes, when it's not uh, ethical, yes, it means when it's not making money, <laughs> what what should I um, uh, uh, announce or, uh, or release any kind of indicator which is not making money? So many other indicators were released and they do not make money, um, but uh, it's an ethical question, yes, and that is uh, really important. So, okay, uh, only to this one, watch. This kind of stuff here, yes, watch it. Uh, this trading psychology stuff, uh, I don't want to talk about this stuff much more, yes, because at the end I have named this already so often. Go through them, they're really important, yes, uh, to understand this. The playlist is called Trading Psychology Playlist, yes, and I would consider and I would uh, recommend to watch them all. Yes, watch them all because this kind of trading psychology stuff is really amazing. That was the last week, how important the trading psychology is. Yes, and now uh, we are talking about this again. The confused complication, what does this mean? This is the beginning of a trader. Yes, that I have shown you this. The boon, yes, the newbie, this one which has low competence. Yes, don't know what they are doing. Yes, that means that they do not know. They will, they have the see green and red bars and they click uh, call and put. And that is already everything what they know yes and then they start most probably then uh, to uh, yes to learn a little bit of this yes and because they do not know some so much they try to set up uh, many rules something like uh, after a loss i will stop yes when i, I trade only when i uh, when uh, the, when there is no news event and all this kind of rules 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 yes so that at the end they are always under pressure because they have only small time windows where they can trade yes and then this kind of stuff has to get in confluence 
with uh, their uh, yes with their lifestyle yes and that is where um, yes which is making uh, yes a, everything a little bit complicated yes and those one at the beginning that is what I gone through too yes they are using many indicators many tools yes to create the holy grail man when I was uh, testing all this kind of strategies yes I was putting always uh, another MACD I was putting another EMA I was putting another RSI I was putting because the RSI was not enough I was putting uh, also some other oscillator without understanding that when I have one oscillator it's already enough then you don't really need another oscillator yes when you have the RSI or the stochastic then you don't need the CCI yes or something like this and uh, that I, that was at the beginning when I didn't understood I thought more indicators I use yes more uh, Yes, more verification and confirmation I have, better it is. Yes, that is a confused complication. Everybody gone through this, everybody knows about this. Then there's coming the second stage stage. After this, you go into the confused simplicity. That means stop using all indicators, the other extreme. After first you use each and every indicator which you can find, then you have, uh, because you don't have done money, yes, and you have lost money, you say, oh, oh, that is not the right solution. The really holy grail is stop using all indicators, yes, which is also the complete nonsense, yes, because everybody knows that when you have the EMAs, when you have the Bollinger Bands, that the price will react to it. And when you trade the most here attempt to create a simple approach the simple approach is naked chart yes a naked chart with support and resistance is a simple approach and uh, the problem of this is when you do not see the wall yes then you will hit the wall so easy yes and when there are the EMAs the Bollinger Bands the price is reacting to them and when you are coming with this kind of simple approach yes then you will uh, with a naked chart then you will be hit you can only not be hit when you knew this yes what the uh, what uh, what happens in ranging market what happens in the training market how the emas are aligned yes to avoid this kind of stuff that you are running against the wall which you do not see so then here focusing only on one aspect yes that is also really important yes because the people are telling you then yes trend is your friend and then they trade only only the trend but then to forget that there is a support and resistance level or they trade the support and resistance level and forget that there is a trend yes or they trade only the candlestick patterns or they trade uh, yes or they trade only the rejection uh, all always only one concept one aspect yes and uh, or the trade um, yes or the trade only the candlestick pattern which is uh, really common yes or each and every other concept and that is the confused simplicity yes because they do not understand that everything is working together yes that is what I'm trying always to explain in all my videos why I'm doing so many videos let's be to explain that it's not only support and resistance yes and it's not only the rejection and it's not only the trend yes everything is working together and uh, it's not only uh, the, the ranging market Market or the, the, the training market no it's all all things together and uh, yes and uh, this is uh, what I tried to explain so and then we have using less rules yes that means that they're starting not to set them up set rules because that is up op the opposite yes of the first one with a confused complication yes that they stop uh, doing here many first they have many rules and then after this they have less rules yes or nearly rules and that makes to makes much more major problems why they do major problems why will, will this uh, face major problems because then they uh, have themselves not under control they are uh, over trading they are doing impulse trading they're doing revenge trading they over trade a lot yes because at the end they have no rules anymore yes they do trading uh, based on uh, yes yes without without uh, having rules really really hard stuff yes because at the end uh, 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 it's they feel much more free yes but at the end this free freedom which they gained will lead in uh, losing much more money so and after they lose, lose much more money because at the end at all this kind of stages you lose money yes then you, you get into the lazy simplicity 
This lazy simplicity is this one word which is before the efficient simplicity because here you have to fall on the ground and understanding what's going on. Yes, because uh, after you have lost much more money, you get clueless. Yes, what to do? You don't know what to do. You are getting into a gambling mode. There are so many traders who are really in gambling mode, uh, who are not, uh, how can I say this? They are not uh, willing to... Uh, to uh, respect the money which they are investing they are only doing this for pastime they are sitting there trading yes and uh, after losing trades they get lazy much more most probably also because they are on uh, on a demo account but uh, the habit of the demo account will be projected on the real account and at the end they are sitting there to completely bored yes uh, from the green and red bars uh, that they are uh, only in gambling mode they're clicking yes and and uh, that is not only when they get emotionally, they are always. I have traders who were watching movies yes, uh, uh, or they are uh, doing some other stuff while they trade because they are so bored. So they are not focusing on the trade itself. They are not uh, observing. And I have to say this again, yes, the prediction and the traders, a good trader is a good observer. You have to be a good observer. And when you are distracted by, uh, because you are lazy, because you are, um, yes, bored, and uh, then you will obviously not focus and then you will not even learn out of your trades because you are giving the trades not the attention. Yes, you need to give the trades the attention which they deserve. Yes, and that is what I have explained on the last one. Yes, where uh, I talked about here the 10 trading tips. Yes, where you have to do a journal, that you have to take screenshots, that you have to work over the trades which gone wrong to understand and to get in your brain. So often I tell my students, you don't have to do this. And what happens next? He does the same mistake again and again and again. And why? Because they are mostly lazy. Yes, they are lazy, they are bored, they are not willing to get the stuff in their brain and that is a problem. So in this kind of stage, because they have lost already so, mu so much, they do not even believe in anything anymore. So they have no rules anymore. Yes, they have uh, they are doing uh, system hopping. Yes, and then a lot of desperation. I have explained this again, we, again here. Yes, you can do this in correlation with this one here. Yes, then you are here in the valley of despair. Yes, that all the stuff is here in this beginning. Yes, and at the end, that is what happens. They are in the valley despair. Okay, I have to open the door for my dog. One second. Yes, I come so immediately, I return immediately. So, okay. So, and then, obviously, after this, yes, end of the trading journey most of the time. So, that is obviously clearly, yes, because after you have done already so much, then you, you, uh, you give up, yes, because at the end, uh, you are sick of system hopping and so on and so on. So, that is really important to understand also that when you are here in the lazy simplicity or something like here, yes, that you have stop to do system hopping you have to find that kind of thing and that is the same thing what i have found when i uh, have found price action yes and i understood that the price action is the right thing then i stopped immediately by system hopping doing system hopping yes from one system to another and after this also yes the rules yes i have set rules for myself yes uh, like uh, that um yes that i try uh, for example, that I, on binary options, that you don't need so much rules. The only rules is that you have a specific amount of money which you use for your learning purposes, yes? And uh, that you don't go over this money money uh, when you are doing this learning stuff, yes? Because uh, uh, it has all, everything has to in some kind of correlation to each other, yes? And all this kind of stuff, yes? And that I try to uh, get my uh, gambling mode uh, under under control, yes, because at the end I'm gone through this kind of steps too. Every trader, every trader will go through these steps, and you can only handle this by doing the opposite of this. What is written here, yes. When you are clueless, you have to find a clue, yes. And uh, when you are gambling, you have top to do gambling. When you have no rules, you do set rules. Yes, and when you are doing system hopping, you have to stop system hopping and you have to try to own this. I have explained this uh, of the concepts of the bot price action Bible. Um, yes, those things which I explained here, you take a few pages and then you try to master them. Yes, that is what this is about. Yes, and uh, 
obviously yes when you are desperate you have to get to motivate yourself to continue because at the end else here on step three the lazy simplicity the uh, trading career will be end and so many are stopping because they are not able to shift this and to understand that they have to do the opposite from that what is written here yes so and then the last step Yes, that is uh, when you are consistently profitable. That is, uh, as first of all, understanding that simple, yes, that what here means, simplicity, yes, as we approach, that simple does not mean easy. So many are undervaluating what, how hard it is, yes, and the opposite of easy hard it is, yes, to become a consistently profitable trader. That is hard work, yes, because at the end the study time uh, is not like when you are going to study in a school, yes, it's much less, yes, but the thing is you have still to practice, you have still to ap apply the things, yes, and uh, still understanding the things, and that is all the stuff is hard. Also getting your psychology stuff under, under um, one uh, thing, uh, that you get it done, yes, it's really hard. So then clear trading style, that is when you stop system hopping, you have your trading style and you stay you, uh, focused on this trading style and this trading system whatever it is yes you can do this also with some kind of strategies you can master some kind of strategies as a same way yes but then you have to uh, also uh, um, admit that what are the disadvantages of this kind of uh, uh, strategy or this kind of trading system yes uh, if you are facing on uh, or you are doing to, to, um, trading on based on price action then you stay on price action you are clear about this that this is exactly that what you want to do yes and then you do not change it and only so you become a consistently profitable trader yes i have traders who are uh, also doing uh, on the bot mentorship program who are using some kind of indicators or whatever they can do this yes important is only that they do not do this kind of confused confused simplicity that they uh, use them only them and without a confirmation based on price action or something yes because at the end you know indicators are lagging yes and uh, that is really important that you realize this that you cannot do your signals they yeah, are based on this i have done a video about the golden cross and the death cross you know how many uh, have contacted me uh, about uh, yes uh, uh, there was a golden cross and the trade gun out of the money yes surely because it's a lagging indicator the crossing of emas cannot be as a signal you have based your trading signals based on price action and not of any kind of uh, crossing of indicators yes that is really important the indicators can help you yes that is uh, really important that you understand this that is the reason why all indicators or many indicators is not solution but stopping using all indicators is also not the solution the solution is using a good quantity of both yes it means uh, a middle way uh, to use some and that is what the bot settings are the bot settings are the halfway yes it means only those ones which are necessary to understand the market condition and using them as support and resistance level that is everything yes so and then Focusing on the whole and not only on one aspect. That is what the uh, logo is about. Yes, my logo of the of the um, yes of the my logo of the of the video. Yes, um, the intro. That is exactly this. Yes, where the gears are all together, getting together. Yes, and showing that you need all the whole concepts, the whole the whole picture, the big picture of everything and not only support and resistance and not only trend and not only the rejection, yes, because at the end that will not lead you to any kind of profit, yes, because uh, focusing only on one, it would have been too simple, yes, you have to understand that, uh, uh, that everything needs to get together, yes. And uh, that is what I'm trying to explain you. So, and then we have here, the rules provide guidance. Yes, really important, the rules again. So the, the no rules is bad, too much rules are bad, and less rules are also bad. You need the right measure on rules, which provide guidance, guidance, that means they lead you, that you know exactly how many trades you are going to do, Yes, uh, that you know exactly what happens when you do this kind of amount trades, what kind of profits would be uh, predictable, yes, or when you're going to lose the trades, how much money you're going to lose, yes, that are the rules which you have to have in mind before, that you have rules which eliminate guesswork, that are the things which I have explained here, yes, when I do not get a rejection from the 200 EMA 
or from the one deviation upper Bollinger Band or from this kind of level, then this trade will be avoided. That is so easy, yes? You stop doing gambling, yes? You don't say, yes, now let's look what the next candle will do. No, for me it's important that I understand where the price will reject and I will show you uh, uh, in a few minutes how you trade this properly, yes? Because it's really important that you understand how to trade this stuff properly based on the running candle, yes? Because the running candle will help you to understand if the trade is a good one or not, yes? And, uh, um, and only this is the mission of the running candle. The running candle is not the candle which will uh, doing the analyzing for you because the running candle, this is the same thing like with the rejection. The rejection or the, uh, the running candle cannot do the uh, predicting of the next candle. It can only help you to determine if the analysis which you have done before would be right or not and uh, and so how good the odds would be uh, that you get this in the money yes uh, and this one so and again eliminate guesswork and confusion when you know what you are going to do then there is no confusion anymore you wait that this kind of setup will appear i have explained this here you wait that the setup will appear you recognize it you have the discipline to stay uh, to feel confident, yes, you have to be disciplined if you're going to do this trade or not. And then you ask yourself, uh, do I want to act on this trading signal? Is everything aligned? Is everything like I want? And then you do the trading action, yes, then you place a trade. This is a thought process, emotion, everything into it, yes, and this, everything of this has to be done before you're going to do the trade. Before you're going to do, see the running candle. It has to be done, everything of this kind of stuff here. That you sit there, a part of this one here. Um, a part of this one here, this two, yes, that are the last two, that are those ones which you do with the running candle. Yes, but the, all the rest you do before, yes, that you recognize the pattern that you have already your analysis done. And then on the last one, you think about, I want to act on the signal on, and I place this trade. Because at the end, you have to understand that when the running candle is running, yes, and you have to decide to do the trade based on the running candle, because then you try to change your analysis. I have explained this already so often, yes, in my trading psychology videos, please watch them. When you decide on the last uh, on the last action on the on the movement of the running candle, what kind of analysis should be right? And you will, you throw overboard your old analysis which you have done with clear mind. Yes, then you have only milliseconds, and uh, this kind of milliseconds are putting yourself under pressure. Yes, because at the end you have to uh, put out a result in milliseconds. Then you have milliseconds which gonna lost through the uh, uh, execution of the trade, and then you have also milliseconds which are lost based on the on the um, yes on the technical problem that the uh, message message has to um, uh, yes uh, transport to the broker, and all this kind of stuff together milliseconds 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 will make a big amount which will lead in any kind of lag or any kind of delay delay which will put you in a bad decision yes, in a bad position based on the uh, yes on the one minute uh, time frame yes on the uh, binary, binary option trading and that is really important that you understand this so your analysis should be ready before so and then the last thing simplicity means certainty that is what confidence is about you should know which kind of trading setup will help you which kind of concept will help you uh, which will bring out a good result when you know how to handle it but to know how to handle it yes you have obviously to uh yes to uh, understand this kind of concepts and don't doing hopping yes don't hop don't change always from hammer to uh to uh, to pinbar or something like this yes or from hammer to doji yes no you have to handle one stuff really good yes then you have a certain certainty and when you have a certain certainty you have also a clarity and then everything is working together yes and then you will become a consistently profitable trader and then you have a really simple efficient and simple approach yes and uh, that is the solution that is where you have to go you have to find yourself in this kind of four stages, yes, uh, uh, mostly those one who are uh, getting, they are mostly on the way from the three to the four when you are in the bot mentorship program, and then you have to stop doing this here, yes, you have to stop to doing this, it's mostly here, it's gambling mode, 
Yes, a lot of uh, of those who are, are clueless. Yes, because uh, they are still doing and uh, carrying a, uh, a with them this stuff here before. Yes, they didn't got out of this stuff here. Yes, but they are already here. That means they have some stuff from here, some stuff from here, and some stuff from here. And then they are uh, clueless because at the end they are carrying this thing here. For example, that they um, that they are focusing only on one aspect. So many are focusing only on the candlestick. Uh, they see an evening star and they trade the evening star. They do not care about the market condition. They do not care about the prolonged uptrend before. They do not care about uh, if the second candle or the third candle of the evening star is stopping at the key level. They do not care if the third candle of the evening star uh, uh, has a lower shadow, which shows that there is buying pressure. That are those things which I'm talking about, yes, because if it would have been so simple with only one aspect, what do you think? There would be need of any kind of YouTube channel? Do you think there would be need of any kind of education? No. So understand this, yes, and you see I'm doing this stuff here already so many, so many years, already two years, yes, more than two years, uh, two and a half years, yes, and uh, there is still stuff to learn. So it's not so simple. Understand this. Simple does not mean easy, yes, and faces. So, okay. That was this one. I hope that uh, will help you also to understand where you are and what kind of things you have to manage yes, to become here efficient, uh, simplicity to reach this point where you uh, become a consistently profitable trader. Yes, when, and most important is this one here, in my opinion, this one, eliminate guesswork. Because I see this always, that uh, traders are doing guessworking. It's the same thing like here. Uh, mostly of the trader would do a put option here. Why they would do a put option? They would do a put option because they think it would become happening some kind of uh, 200 EMA fake breakout. Yes, it's uh, that is that what what they do. But this is guessing. Yes, because when you ask them why, then they would tell you it looks like this. Yes, but the thing is this, you have to do this based on technical analysis. That's what I have explained in the bot price action Bible, those things which I have explained in the video packs, yes, which uh, and which I'm uh, doing also in the bot manager program, explaining exactly why and wh what, yes, because at the end, yes, it looks like a fake breakout, but so often looks like a fake breakout and it doesn't happen. Yes, that is, a, that is the same thing. You have to get the things together and then you have to decide it. And because uh, here you have to also to understand that there is a process of elimination, yes, that this candlestick here didn't unfold like it should, and all this kind of stuff. Yes, that we are here uh, having a golden cross, that we are here above the one deviation Bollinger Band, all this kind of stuff which I'm over all and over and over and over and over again explaining and explaining and explaining. So, okay, so now we are going to the topic where so many were waiting for and uh, here I have prepared something. So let me see what this was and this is a part about how how to predict the base or based hopefully based on running candlesticks the direction of the next candlestick yes with candlestick psychology and the movement of the running candle so let me see that is this one look at this i have ex i have taken i have taken not for um, for fun yes the last week um, retracement stuff Yes, where I talk about the retracement. Watch this video, really important retracement trading strategy and concepts. Yes, how to trade this. This had a lot of traders to understand the difference between a reversal and a retracement. How to trade retracement trading strategy versus reversal with candlestick psychology. Yes, and here, look at this. I have prepared this and now I'm going to show you exactly how you have to trade and when you have not to trade. So first of all, before you're going to do a trade, Yes, so that is a running candle here. Yes, that is a running candle which will form. Before you are going to do a trade, the first thing what you are going to do, yes, is that you have your analysis already ready. That means when you see this kind of stuff like this, yes, then you know the next candle has to be a bullish one. Yes, the candlestick has to be a bullish one. And there are two types of movement of the candles. And that is when I'm talking about the prediction uh, of the next candlestick should be, uh, and for the, to betray the next candlestick, you have to be a good observer. A good observer is somebody who uh, gives attention and has an awareness yes, and watch closely and try to figure out some kind of patterns. So there are two movements. I call them pressure and the impulse. 
the impulse is that what the most of you are calling the rejection yes and the pressure is the movement of the candle itself so if you know yes that the next candle will be a bullish one yes because that will be a retracement candle that is what you have done on your analysis or when the candlestick when this candlestick has closed yes when this candlestick has closed you know already okay that will be most probably a trend continuation because this candle stopped exactly on the key level. Yes, so you know this already. So when you know this, yes, there are two movements. I show you now the movements. This is, this is pressure. You see, it's going up, up, down, up, down. Yes, or also do. This is also pressure. Yes, it's going up, down, up, down, and mostly it's a little bit more. Yes, so or here like this. Yes. Like this. This is pressure, yes. And then we have this movement here. This movement, this explosive, yes, impulse movements, yes. Here, something like this, okay? Something like this. This are the two movements. So now I show you exactly what you are going to do. When you know that the next candle should be a bullish one because you expect that it will be a retracement, then the movement will go like this, yes. It will go down. It will go down, yes. And then it will have any kind of key level. These key levels are micro key levels, yes, because they are based on the wicks on of the previous candles. Yes, they are also it's here in this case it's are there are wicks, uh, wicks on the last three three candles, four candles, but it can be also wicks which are ten candles away. Yes, this kind of wicks have shown you shown you the support and resistance levels. So when this candle here is running. And that is what the most traders are doing. You know you are going, you want to do a call. If you see that the price is going here and the pressure and it's not reacting to the first one, yes, then you, you know already here, you know already that you don't going to do a call as long you don't get this kind of explosive, explosive impulse attempt. Only when you get this explosive at attempt, yes, that it moves up from down, up, then you know that is a rejection. But important is this impulse movement will lead you into a bad position. This impulse way trade will this movement will put you in a really bad position because it is an impulse and it will peak out, it will go over a key level. And the problem is you are entered into it after this thing yes after this impulse and after this impulse yes the price goes down again and then you get out of the money because you got entered into this rejection trade which you call yes uh, which is the impulse the the thing how you have to handle it is as first of all this that when the price is pushing down the pressure is going down down it's hitting a key level yes it's hitting the key level and to get the impulse then you wait you don't enter immediately. Then you wait that the price moves down again. Yes. And then you enter and try to get into the straight below the closing price of the previous candle. But after you got the impulse. Yes. After you got the impulse. So then the next one is if you don't get an impulse. This is also important in the 30 seconds of the purchase time, like I have explained in the bot price action Bible. Yes, I have explained this in the bot price, the, the purchase time and the expiration time. When you don't get this kind of sharp movement, this kind of impulse, and the impulse has to be in the direction what you expect your trade. When you get a sharp movement which moves down, it's not mean that you have to do now a put option. No, you don't do the trade, you avoid the trade. Really important, yes. It doesn't. It doesn't mean that because it has done the uh, the the movement in the opposite direction that it means that you have to trade the opposite direction. No, you have your analysis and you stay behind your analysis. And when the candlestick is not doing that what you expect in the running candle, then you avoid the trade. Really important, okay. So again, so you see the market is doing pressure downwards, 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 downwards. Then you get the explosive uh, impulse trade, impulse. Wait, that's yes, impulse stuff then you wait that the price is going down again below the closing price yes and then you enter 
so easy yes then you have a good entry point because you get into this trade because it's going the pressure yes it's going going down yes and you have a good entry point and then you wait the next 30 seconds the expiration time whatever it is on the higher time frame it will be uh, more yes that the price will move up in your direction that is how you have to trade this the second thing is when you have the pressure in the uh, purchase time yes you have the pressure here and it's going down down and it's going through the things here without any kind of rejection then you avoid to trade because when you have an uptrend yes and when the support level is holding yes that means that the price will not go through the key levels that means when what, what i can explain this like this when you have at the beginning of the candlestick a sharp movement like this yes and it breaks through this level and this level when you have an uptrend you know what happens then it will happen that this candle will not go below this level anymore it will not or it will go below this level here but it will maybe not go below this level that is because we have an uptrend yes so you have to then you have to be careful yes and then you have to try to get into this trade below those levels yes because at the end in the uh, expiration time the price will remove down so let me do this uh, again with some other ones so that you understand this let's do this with this one and you see what kind of level exists i have shown you this here not only the 50 percent level i have shown you also the wicks the closing price each on or every of those kind of uh, situation and i will show you this also on live trading then uh, how how the uh, impulse looks like how the pressure looks like and how to uh, to uh, to to trade them because at the end the thing is this is something that not, nothing new what I'm telling you here but the most one who are explaining this stuff they are explaining this wrong because they do predict the candlestick the next candlestick or the candlestick itself only based on the on the running candle but the running candle is like the rejection and all this kind of stuff only a small part it will confirm or it will deny your trade no it will not tell you uh, based on the direction what is going to happen what the next candle you have to do you have to have your analysis before so again we have here this kind of retracement you know that the next candle will be in this case uh, a bullish one yes that is what you predict and then you wait for the confirmation how do you confirm this when the candlestick is moving down here or it gets a rejection a, a sharp impulse wave here first pressure down slowly slowly down slowly down then it got a projection here like this then you wait and then you wait that the price goes down because the pressure is always the same yes the pressure is always the same it's a constant pressure against it yes and then you enter below the closing price but after you got the inputs really important yes and then you follow yes and in the last seconds it goes up if the price is breaking through this level this one with the pressure and there is no in no way any kind of um uh, any kind of inputs then you avoid the trade and you do the avoid the trade immediately from the first one that means when you see and it's not reacting here yes yes and it's not working then you avoid and if because at the end you don't want to do a put here you want to do a call that is what the analysis has done so you avoid the trade yes it's not like this that when you see now impulse like this yes that you wait yes that the price goes up again yes this will mostly not happen yes that is what the most trader do not understand it will not happen yes and that will lead you only that you get into this trade maybe here and in the last seconds the price moves up yes and you get out of the money by here and that is really again really frustrating okay only to make this clear so let me do this again here long guy so not again and then i will do this once or twice for the uh for the downtrend to make it more clear so again here there is here the levels are really close to each other but you have to understand that there are also weeks much much more distance when you have a good trend yes and then you have to take this kind of weeks this kind of closing prices this kind of 50 percent levels uh, to understand if you are in an uptrend or a downtrend and i tell you again how you can recognize this and uh let me show you this uh I show you this how you can recognize this you recognize this based if the price is reacting the running candle is reacting to the wicks or not if you have an uptrend really important if you have an uptrend 
that means that you go here through them really easily. Yes, and the price will not go down again. That is this one, yes, if you have an uptrend. So in this case, you have your prediction that it will go up. So you wait that the price goes down. Yes, or when it's going up, you have to check it, how it goes up. But mostly it will show you that it will go down. Yes, because you are still in a downward movement because we have here the retracement. And then after this, you wait. Yes, then you get the, the, the impulse. And when you get the impulse, depending where the impulse will end, Yes, you wait that it gets again a little bit of pressure downwards. Yes, and then you try to enter into this uh, wherever you enter and then you do call. For example, here you do a call and then in the last time it will move up. Yes, maybe there will be another impulse. Yes, I don't know, that, uh, but that, uh, at the end it doesn't do. Don't, don't, don't care anymore about this because uh, it's not important. Important is that you know when you don't get any kind of impulse here, yes, that you avoid the trade because so many traders the candlestick is going here through downwards. Look at this. The candlestick is down, 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 down. And you know what they do? They do still a call. They do a call. The candle broke through this level. The candle broke through this level. And they do still a call. That is like, I have explained this already often, that is like running into a knife. There is something standing with a knife and you are running against him. That is what this is when you are doing this kind of stuff, yes? And that is this one. Again, so that is this one. I have written this here. I have written this here uh, uh, again. Yes, I have written this here. The pressure down, yes? That means pressure goes down, yes? And then you get an impulse like this. Then you wait because this will be a bad position as an entry. Yes, then you wait that you get a lower entry. Yes, and then you wait that in the last 30, 30 seconds, the, the candle will move up again. So now we are doing this again here for the, uh, for the downtrend. So here is the same stuff like this. Yes, you wait that the price will move up. Then you see where it's going to reject. If it's going to reject, if it's going to through of them, or two of them, yes, two levels of them, then avoid the trade, yes, because when it's already here, what do, what the hell are you doing a put option anymore? Yes, that is completely nonsense. Here, when you have this here, it should reject here, that means the impulse move should be coming here, yes, depending how strong it is, and then you wait that the price moves up again, and then you enter into the trade, and in the last seconds, it moves down. So here we have it a little bit better. So when you have this here, look at this, Look at this when you have this one here and the price is moving up yes it's moving up and uh, you don't get a rejection here and the distance is so far yes then avoid it yes when you have a big distance avoid it then you say okay uh, i don't do want to do a put anymore yes then you will see also how this kind of level will react to this one that means if it will go down again or not if it's not going down again that means okay forget the put don't do the put anymore because that looks like a reversal and trade the next candle. Yes, that is really important that you understand this, that you have to avoid that this kind of running candle is the filter to decide if you are going to do the trade or not. Really important. Nobody is going to tell you this, that you have to do the analysis before and that the running, running candle is not that important. That is only the confirmation or the denial. I tell this over and over again. So, okay, then we have here this, when you have no one, when you have no one where you can rely to it, stay away. Take a key level, mostly you have a key level, one deviation Bollinger Band, two deviation Bollinger Band, uh, EMAs. But when you don't have any kind of key level, for example here, when you are here, you are in no man's land, avoid the trade. Yes, don't do a put anymore. Wait. Yes, wait for the next candle to have any kind of reverence where you can do the trade. Uh, you will see also how this running candle is reacting to this levels, if it's going to break through it or not. But also when you have here above and there is no key level and it's going to do some kind of impulse, like this one or something, yes, or that's a good impulse, then do not trade. It's, it's not worth to do the trade, yes, because at the end, yeah, you don't know where it reacts from and it doesn't say anything. And a part of this, you should not, you don't want to do a call. Yes, you don't want to do a call. You want to do a put, but this put has to be in this kind of area, yes, where you see, okay, it's still not a running into a knife. I have explained this before. So, okay, and uh, the next one here also, the same stuff. Let's, you see how it's react to this stuff. If you don't get a rejection here, if you don't get a rejection here, if you don't get a rejection here, forget it, yes. 
If you get a rejection, you wait that for the impulse, but you don't enter immediately. Yes, you wait that the price moves up again a little bit more. Yes, because else you get uh, out of the money by hair. That is what happens so often. I see this, and I hope that this kind of stuff about the, how to predict the base, uh, how to predict based on running candlesticks, the reaction of the next candlestick will help you understanding this. So obviously, to understand this kind of stuff, you need to understand more in detail those things which I have explained in the bot price action bible. You find the link in the description the video packs will help you to understand the market condition because this kind of stuff cannot be seen alone yes it's also a part of the trend itself yes because you know this kind of trend uh, continuation stuff retracement stuff you have to be done only when you have a good trend when you have not a good trend you don't do this because it's a trend continuation i see so often traders who are doing trend continuation in a ranging market yes if you have a ranging market what the hell are you doing a trend continuation trend continuation needs strong trend that is why they are called trend continuation okay so and uh, yes if you want to join the bot mentorship program send me an application uh, an email an empty email to my email address botobotrader at gmail.com with the subject bot mentorship program if you want to get the money back from uh, IQ option for uh, maintenance uh, updates or any kind of other issues technical problems send me an empty email with investment recovery to my email address botobotrader at gmail.com if you have a suggestion for any kind of video send me an uh, email with a subject suggestion to my email address botobotrader at gmail.com and if you have and if you want to participate on the uh, indicator Send me an uh, um, email, an empty email with the uh, subject uh, bot indicator, price action indicator. And uh, yes, and if you like this video, do a like. If you didn't subscribe, subscribe to my channel. And if you want to win the $100 uh, uh, or you have something to say, drop me a line in the comment section of this video. So I would say stay safe and bye-bye.